In this lecture, let's implement Hello World kernel module and let's test it. Then we'll explore how to build it. Let's get back to our source or oh, not source, sorry. Just go to custom drivers folder and here create one folder. Let's start with Hello World. 001 Hello World. Here just get inside this hello world folder and here just create one file main.c let's open main.c you can use your favorite text editors i'll be using vim or you can even use gedit or your favorite text editors first we have to include the header file let's do that you have to include the kernel header file with respect to the linux folder Linux module.h. If you are not sure about that, let me save and exit this. Let's go to the source and Linux. Here there's a folder called include, and here there's a folder called Linux. Here you find most of the kernel headers. We are including a header file with respect to this folder, Linux, in the kernel source tree. After that, let's write our module initialization function and module cleanup function. Static int underscore underscore init. And let's give a name for our module initialization function. I would give hello word any name you can give hello word in it i would just give that hello word in it and it doesn't take any argument so void that's it just close this and now let's write module cleanup function static void exit Hello world cleanup. Void and give the function body. That's it. After that, register module in it. Give this name. That's it. After that, module exit. These are registration. and module license just give gpl in capital letters module author me module description a simple hello word kernel module and after that, you can give module info, some more info. I would want to mention what board I am using. I would just write board BeagleBone Black Revision A5. Fair enough. This is a module initialization function which gets loaded whenever you load a kernel module into the kernel. Let's send some message to the world. For that, you can use printf statement, but you cannot use printf statements of the C standard library. So, kernel has its own printf. We'll explore about kernel printfs later. Just use this function print info. Hello world. Actually, this is a macro which is a wrapper around kernel's uh, printf that what we call as print k. So it's a wrapper around that. We'll explore more on uh, these kernel printing services later. This works exactly as printf's what we have used in our user space programs. Just the name is different. Just give it as pr underscore info and pr info this is hello world sorry 
here you can write goodbye word remember that the module initialization function must return a value if it is success it must return zero for that purpose so i would use here zero if it is non zero then module insertion will get failed so module will not get loaded into the kernel that's why for this example let's use zero for other examples for real drivers you will be returning some error codes or something like that but here we are not dealing with any kernel api something like that we can just use return zero it just prints and returns zero that's it in this lecture let's learn how to build a kernel module kernel module can be built in two ways one is statically linked against the kernel image or it can be built as dynamically loadable kernel module in most of the exercises in this course we will be writing and using dynamically loadable kernel modules let's say you want to build a kernel module as dynamically loadable kernel module there are two types of dynamically loadable kernel modules one is in tree modules and another one is out of tree modules what exactly is a in tree module in tree modules means internal to the linux kernel tree for example in the earlier videos you actually ran a command modules make modules to build all dynamically loadable kernel modules of the linux kernel all those modules are called as in tree modules that means they are internal to the linux kernel tree there are another type of dynamically loadable kernel module that is out of tree that is external to the linux kernel tree so the module what we just wrote our hello world module it is actually an out of tree module loading out of tree module taints the kernel that is kernel issues a warning saying out of tree module has been loaded this is just a warning from the kernel and uh, we can safely ignore this warning you will see that when you load that module to the kernel let me quickly cover about what are in tree and out of tree modules basically out of tree means outside of the linux kernel source tree the modules which are already part of the linux kernel are called in tree modules that is approved by the kernel developers and maintainers when you write a module separately which is not approved and may be buggy build and link it against the running kernel then it's called as out of tree module hence when you load an out of tree kernel module kernel throws a warning message saying it got tainted that is a taint flag will be set in the kernel let's explore building a kernel module as out of tree later we'll also explore in tree building modules are built using kbuild which is the build system used by the linux kernel it doesn't matter whether it is a static module or dynamic module modules are built using kbuild that is kernel build modules must use kernel build system to stay compatible with changes in the build infrastructure and to pick up right flags to gcc when you compile a user level program what you do you actually use a compiler called gcc and you use various compiler flags you use various linker flags to compile your program so the same procedure we have to follow here but while building a kernel module you need not to worry about what kind of compiler switches or compiler arguments you have to use with the compiler you just have to invoke the kernel build system and the kernel build system will take care of using right compiler switches to the compiler to build external modules you must have a pre-built kernel source available that contains the configuration and header files used in the build basically we have already installed the kernel source isn't it we will be building our module against that pre-built kernel source 
This ensures that as the developer changes the kernel configuration, his custom driver is automatically rebuilt with the current kernel configuration. If you need more information about building a module using kbuild, you can go through the kernel documentation at this path. Let's move forward. There are some important notes I would like to mention. So please remember that when you are building a out of tree module, you need to have a complete and pre-compiled kernel source tree on your system. This we have already done. We have downloaded the kernel source tree and built it. The reason is modules are linked against object files found in the kernel source tree. You cannot compile your module against one Linux kernel version and load it into the system which is running kernel of different version. The module load may not be successful and even if it is successful you will encounter runtime issues with the symbols. That's why the thumb rule is have a pre-compiled Linux kernel source tree on your machine and build your module against that. There are two ways to obtain a free built kernel version. Download kernel from your distributor and build it by yourself. This is what we did. Or install the Linux headers of the target Linux kernel. Let's say you have a embedded system where the board is already running a Linux kernel of some different version. And now you have to write a driver for that board. What you do is you try to get the kernel source of that running Linux kernel version. So if you don't get full uh, Linux source, then at least try to download the Linux headers of the target Linux kernel version and build your module against that. As I said, you cannot compile your module against one Linux kernel version and load it into the system which is running kernel of different version. Don't try to do that. That's the reason why we downloaded the Linux kernel source from the BeagleBone repository, compiled it and updated the Linux kernel image in the target. Now the version of the target Linux kernel and version of the source what we have got in our system is same. We are just going to build our module against the source what we have installed. Let's see the procedure to uh, build an out of tree kernel module. And uh, maybe in the next lecture, let's explore about building in tree kernel module. This is a command you have to use. Very simple command. You just have to use make command. That's it. Now, the idea here is you have to trigger the top level make file of the Linux kernel source tree. That's the key thing here. And to trigger top level make file of the Linux kernel source tree, we use hyphen c switch with a make. When you execute make hyphen c, so make first enters into the Linux kernel source tree and it executes a top level make file. That's how kernel build system triggers. And when the make invokes top level make file, all the compiler switches, the dependency list, version string, everything will be utilized to build your kernel module. When make invokes the top level make file, you then have to direct the top level make file to your local make file or a local folder where you have kept your out of tree module source. And we direct the top level make file to our local folder by using the variable m. So m is equal to you have to give path to your module source. And after that this command also includes target options and we'll explore about that in a moment. First you have to use make hyphen c path to the Linux kernel tree to invoke the top level make file of the kernel source tree. And when make invokes the top level make file of the Linux kernel tree, the kernel build system triggers and you have to use the variable m 
to direct the build flow to enter into your local folder where you have kept your module source file. This is a command syntax in short make hyphen C kernel directory and m is equal to path to the local module and then you have to mention targets. So we'll explore about the targets a little later. Let's move forward. Now for the targets you can use these options. If you want to build a module then use a command modules. If you want to install the module, then use a command modules install. If you want to clean up all the generated files in the module directory, then use clean. And if you want to get any help, then you just use help command here. These are the different targets. We have already used these targets. We have used modules, we have used modules install. The same target option you can use with this command. Let's see creating a local makefile. As I said, the top level makefile will invoke the local makefile. This you need to create by yourself. In the local makefile, you should define a cabled variable like below. You have to use a cabled variable called obj hyphen. You can use three different values here n, y, or m. And after that, you have to mention the module name dot o let's understand how to create a local make file in the local make file you should define a cabled variable like below you have to use the cabled variable obj hyphen and you have to use the appropriate option and then equate that to your module name dot o here x takes one of the below values. It could be n or it could be y or it could be m. If it is n, that means do not compile the module. When your cabled system visits the local folder, it reads the local make file and it reads this variable obj hyphen. It could be n, y or m. If it is y, that means compile the module and link with kernel image. That means it's a static module if it is Y. If X is M, then compile as dynamically loadable kernel module. All you need to do is you have to create a make file and write this statement. Let's say I have a kernel module source file main.c and I want to build it as a dynamically loadable kernel module. Then I would just mention obj hyphen M is equal to main dot o when the kernel build system sees this statement the k build system will build main dot o that is object file from main dot c and after linking it will result in the kernel module main dot k o remember that you should not mention main dot c here main dot c is a source our target is main.o object file that's why you have to write main.o so the kernel build system creates the target that is main.o and after linking the kernel module main.ko will be generated let's build our hello world kernel module go to custom drivers folder and we have already created one folder here let's get into the hello world project here we have main.c and let's create a make file just run the command touch make file and open the make file add the obj variable that's a kernel build variable obj hyphen m is equal to main.o that's the only entry you need to add for a time being Later, we will understand more complex syntaxes. That's it. You are initializing this variable to main.o. After that, let's save and exit. Now we are ready to build. You can build a kernel module for your host or for your target. Here, main.c is a kernel module I can build and run on my host machine. 
or I can build for my target machine. First, let's try uh, building the kernel module against our host machine, that is our Ubuntu machine. For that, you need pre-built kernel source of uh, Linux kernel version, which is running on your host system. First of all, what's the version of Linux kernel which is running on our host? To check that, just run uh, uname minus r. It is 5.3.0. And you can get the pre built kernel source and the kernel header at this path lib modules. You just mention the kernel version that is 5.3. Here it is. Here, this is a pre built kernel source and kernel header directory. You have to build your module against this directory if you want to build a kernel module against your host machine. Let's try that. So make hyphen C. Now you have to mention the path to the Linux kernel source or to the Linux kernel header. Let's mention lib modules 5.3.0.40 generic. So generic, and then you have to mention build. And after that, we have to define the m variable m is equal to it should point to the path of the current working directory. This is the current working directory. We can get the current working directory's path by using the environment variable pwd. So you have to get the value of the environment variable pwd. That's why we have to use the dollar sign pwd. And after that, you have to mention the command or target. So we want to build a module. You have to mention modules. There are different types of commands or targets, modules, modules install, clean and help. Remember that. In this case, we are building, so we have to use modules here. I hope it is clear. First, what happens is here, when make is executed, it first goes into this path. It triggers the top level make file, which it is going to find here. And the top level make file, get the value of M m points to the current directory the top level make file visits your current directory and it sees a make file there because you have kept a local make file and it reads the local make file where you have written a obj hyphen m is equal to main dot o it reads that so it builds your main dot c to produce the kernel object file main dot ko Let's hit enter. Here it is. Here you can see that entering directory. It went to that path, and uh, after that, it came to your local directory. And it built main.o because that was a target mentioned in the local make file. And it finally generated main.ko. So just do ls. If you change the target modules to clean, it will clean your working directory. You can see that. Everything will get deleted. Let's run that command once again. Now we got main.ko here. This is a kernel module. Let's insert that kernel module into the running kernel of the host. For that, you can use the user level program sudo insmod main.ko hit enter and if you want to see the result just type d message so here you can see that uh, we got these messages you see there are two warning messages the first one is loading out of tree module taints the kernel that's a warning added by the kernel because you just loaded the out of tree kernel module so you don't see this warning message if the module is in tree module. Let's try building and loading an in tree module later. After that, you see one more warning message here. Module verification failed. Required key is missing. So this is because 
the vendor in this case Ubuntu has turned on module signature verification the kernel which is configured by Ubuntu compares the signature of the vendor on the kernel module since our kernel module is not signed off by the vendor the verification fails after that the third message that is hello world is from our kernel modules init function so when you loaded the module using insmod the modules entry point ran and it printed this message now you can remove the module using the command rmmod now you see that the cleanup function of our module has executed and it printed this message in the next lecture, let's build the kernel module for our target and then we can transfer and test it on the target.